more purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon heart gold i'm purple rodri in the last episode we defeated the last elite four member karen in today's episode after collecting all eight badges of johto and defeating all of the elite four members we are ready to take on the champion as you can see i have our little jolteon den up in front like a lot of you guys suggested i am very excited to walk down this last corridor enter the final room and take on the champion so let's go ahead and do it I've been waiting for you, Rodri. I knew that you with your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge! So here we go, Rodri versus Lance, the Dragon Type Master, the Pokemon League Champion. We are challenged by Champion Lance. We are both ready. We've been waiting for this since the beginning of our adventure. He's going to send out Gyarados, and I'm going to send out Den like a lot of you guys told me. Thanks so much for your tips, guys. We are ready to do this battle, and I am very excited to put all those crazy strategies into work and see what we can do. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Let's go ahead and take down this Gyarados. Let's knock him down, and let's start this off with a bang. Let's show Lance what we're made of. Why we We've been working so hard with our Pokemon and why we deserve to take that crown off his head. All right, the first Pokemon is down. Lance is going to send out Dragonite, and I actually have a strategy of sorts uh, planned out for this. So I'm going to send out Velos. I know it's going to be a lot tougher. This is going to be very difficult. So I'm just like throwing out whatever I can out there because I know that Lance's Dragonites are going to be very, very difficult to defeat. All right, I'm going to throw out the Confuse Ray first of all. I'm just hoping, you know, confuse him a little bit, mix him up, and see if I can put a little bit of damage before I send Aqui out here. Aqui is going to be our big hitter. So, you know, we have to depend on Aqui a lot throughout this battle fantastic dragonite hurt itself in its confusion that is exactly what i wanted to happen now let's go for the fly you know i'm trying to weaken it as much as possible maybe lure out a full restore or uh something like that so we're gonna see if we can actually do that all right so we're gonna go ahead and use the fly let's see how much we can do it hurt itself in its confusion twice which is actually really really incredible uh and it also has a berry okay that's okay that's okay we got this we got this all right the foes dragonite restored itself with the citrus berry and now it snapped out of its confusion and went for a safeguard. I don't like the use of safeguard from this Dragonite because that means that we can't use a yawn on it, which is what I'm hoping for. I'm kind of hoping to weaken it as much as possible, uh, you know, have it with no safeguard, have it confused or something, and then whoop out Aqui, use a yawn, and, you know, go from there. All right, but you know what? Velos is doing fantastic as of now. Dragonite's going for that Outrage, which is going to make things a lot more difficult on us because uh, these could actually take us down. Ooh, that did a crap load of damage. And of course, of course, it's a crit. It's a crit. All right, time to send out Aqui. Good job, Velos. We couldn't have asked for anything else. And now it's for Aqui's time uh, to shine. Let's go for the Ice Beam right away. Dragonite's is going to keep spamming those outrages at us. So we're just hoping, you know, we can actually take it out. All right, let's tank it, please. Let's tank it, Aqui. Tanked out. Let's see if the Ice Beam can take it down. All fingers crossed here. It's going to be super effective on it, but we're going to see if we can actually put enough damage to take it down. Did we get it? Dragonite is down. Fantastic. So there we go. That is Lance's strongest Pokemon, and it is down already. Lance is going to send out another Dragonite. I am not ready yet for that Dragonite to come out. So I am actually going to send out a tank for us. Let's go, Zuko. Time for you to tank it out so I can heal up Aqui a little bit. All right, Zuko's first time out in this place inside of the champion's lair. All right, let's see what level this Dragonite is. It is level 49. Let me go ahead and just use a Hyper Potion very quickly. As you guys can see, I don't have that many left. I have two Hyper Potions, like two Max Potions, and I think like one or two Max Revives, which we might be able to use. I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, Zuko just took a big hit. They are no longer protected by the safeguard, which is good for us, uh, which means that I could switch out right now. Um, you know what? Uh, Zuko might have to tank it out for the team. I don't know. I'm going to go for the Blast Burn. Uh, the Dragon I went for the Thunder and missed, which is great. Let's see how much damage the Blast Burn is going to do on it. I've only used a handful of them, so we still have a lot. So we're going to see if they're going to do... Uh, they did a little bit of damage on the Dragonite, which is cool with me. All right, Dragonite's going for the Dragon Rush. Which is gonna take down Zuko, sadly. That one hurts a little bit. Uh, we will bring Zuko back if we need to, though. Thanks for doing that, Zuko. You know, playing like a team player there. 
All right, Aqui is out again. Uh, let's go for the Ice Beam. Let's throw it out there. All right, the first Dragonite's gonna go for a Dragon Rush. Uh, I think we'll be able to hold out on this one. Yes, yes, we will. All right, let's use the Ice Beam. Let's hope that we can take it down. This one is a level lower than the 50, so we should be able to do a little bit more damage. KO'd super effective. The second Dragon Knight is down. Fantastic way to start that off. We're gonna see what Lance has in store for us next. It is another Dragon Knight. I'm gonna keep out Aqui. This is it. We have to keep out Aqui to be able to do this. This one is level 49. I'm going to go for the Yawn. Uh, it's going to go for the Dragon Rush, and it missed. We're going to go for the Yawn now that the Safeguard is down. That is exactly what we're trying to do. That is fantastic. Uh, I am going to use my last Hyper Potion on Aqui and just try and hold out as best as possible because this is when it's going to get really, really difficult. Once we run out of supplies and, you know, our team members start, you know, going down is when things are going to get hard. All right. It fell asleep. We should have this in the bag then. We should be able to take down this Dragonite uh, quite nicely. Let's just go for the Ice Beam. I only have a certain amount of left, so we're going to see. But I do think I have some ethers or ethers in, in, my, in my little Pokey bag. So we're going to see if we can use those if it really comes down to it. All right, let's go for the Ice Beam. It is going to take it down very, very close to KOing it. Uh, Lance is going to go for the Full Restore, which is also going to awaken this Dragonite. Okay. All right, Lance, that's what I expected from you. You are the champion. You are going to make this a lot more difficult. All right, let's go for another Ice Beam, which is probably going to take it down to where it was before. I don't know how many restores Lance has. It might be just one. All right, Dragonite went for the Hyper Beam. If we can tank this out, Aqui, we hold it together. We can take down Lance's Dragonite. Yes, we're going to go for the Ice Beam one last time, and that is probably going to take down this Dragonite. And there we go. Dragonite is down. See you later, Lance's Dragonite. We are doing awesome. Okay, Aqui grew to level 47 as well, which is really, really good. Lance is going to send out Charizard. I am going to switch out, and we're going to send out... I'm thinking... Den. Let's send out Den. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll send out Den against this, this little dude. All right. Then it's your time to do this. You've already took down one of their Pokemon, so it is your time to shine. Let's throw out the Thunderbolt, and let's hope that we can do it. Use Thunderbolt on the Charizard. Even though Charizard's not a Dragon-type Pokemon, so I don't know why you're using it, Lance. But let's go ahead and take it down. <laughs> we got it very close. Uh, Charizard's going to go for the Fire Fang. That's not, that's not going to do a whole bunch, dude. We're, we're an electric type. We got this in the bag. All right. One last time. Then use Thunderbolt. That is going to take down this Charizard, leaving Lance with one Pokemon left. That is where things are going to get very, very tricky. All right. Then gain some XP. Champion Lance is going to send out Aerodactyl. Ooh, Aerodactyl. I am actually going to switch out... I'm thinking Glamis, just so I can tank it out for a little bit. Let's bring out Glamis to the battle. Glamis hasn't been out yet, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send Glamis out. Let's see if Glamis can put some damage on this guy. I don't know what level the Aerodactyl is going to be, but, you know, I want to kind of mix it up a little bit and see who we can get out there. All right, I thought this would never happen. Yeah, you, you thought wrong, my friend. You thought wrong. Let's go for the... Is it a dragon? Let's go for the dragon rush. Let's see if we can put some damage on this guy. All right, it's going to go for a rock slide. Which I don't know how much damage it's going to do on me. It might do a good amount. It didn't do too much. All right, let's go for the Dragon Rush. Let's see how much damage we can put on this Aerodactyl. Oh, wow, that did a crap load. My goodness, I hit a crit on it. I never give up, no matter what. You must be the same. You can count on it, buddy. And what? We have an extreme speed. Oh, we would have had it there. But that is Lance's second full restore. We have lured it out of him. Lured it out. We took out the last full restore. Let's go for an extreme speed. Let's see if we're going to be able to put some good damage on this little guy. Ooh, that did like a little teensy bitsy. I'm thinking of almost going for another Dragon Rush, but I am a little freaked out that this thing is going to attack me. So let's see if I can use a Max Potion on Aqui before switching out, because I think, you know, at least Glamis lured out that full restore, which is good for us. All right, Aerodactyl went for the Rock Slide. That is going to take down our Glamis, uh, most likely. So there we go. Glamis is down. Now it's time for Aqui to come back out. I actually am thinking of bringing out Sokka as well, though, because we haven't seen Sokka out in this fight. Even though this is a flying type, why not bring Sokka out for a little bit? He hasn't had the chance to come out here and uh, give it his all. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot now. I'm going to go for the close combat. Of course, Aerodactyl is going to go for the Aerial Ace, which is going to be like quadruple effective on us. But you know what? I thought I might as well bring Sokka out in this battle one time uh, because he didn't get the chance to. <laughs> okay. Woo! We are down to two Pokemon. 
Come on out, Aqui. Wrap this up for us. Finish it off once and for all. And let's go ahead and do this. I am going to go for the Waterfall right away. Aerodactyl is going to go for the Aerial Ace, which isn't going to do a whole bunch to us. Well, it shouldn't do a whole bunch. Let's go for the Waterfall. Let's go ahead and knock this little dude down. Let's see how much damage we can actually do on it. Very close to taking it down. If No! Are you kidding me? It has one little thing left. One little dash. Let's go for the Ice Beam then. Lance has three full restores. Are you kidding me? All right, Lance. You almost had as many as me. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. And then an Ice Beam Waterfall combination should take down this Aerodactyl, uh, which is what we're going to find out. All right, super effective. We have also frozen it. What are the odds of that? Freezing it on the last move. Aerodactyl's frozen solid. It's not going to be able to move. Aqui, use Waterfall. This is it. This is the last attack we will be using on this Aerodactyl and Lance's last Pokemon. That's it. It is down. It is down. Have we taken the crown? This is amazing. Aqui did it. The whole team pulled together. We defeated champion Lance. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. We got 10,000 for winning and we sent them to our mother. Woo! You have become truly powerful, Rodri. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Oh no, it's all over, Professor Oak! If you weren't so slow! Ah, Rodri! It's been a long while! You certainly look more impressive! Your conquest of the League is just fantastic! Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen! Your Pokémon were outstanding, too! Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevered! Congratulations, Rodri! Let's interview the brand new champion! This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Rodri, could you come with me? Oh wait! We haven't done the interview! It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here, today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Rodri, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. We are putting our Pokemon into the Poker Records because once and for all, we are officially the League Champions. We have Den Archolteon. Woohoo! Took down those Gyarados like no tomorrow. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, my friend. We have Zuko, our Typhlosion, our starter, the dude who's been with us from the very beginning. This is very exciting to get to see my team up there, our team up there. We have Velos, our Crobat, the one and only, the fastest dude in all of the land. We have Sokka, our Heracross, the brick, brick, brackety, bracketing, brackety, bracketing, bricking, bracketing, bracketing dude, the dude who can do it all. We have Aqui, our little Quagsire who helped us through the Pokemon League immensely and couldn't have defeated Lance without him. We have the last of our team member that was added, Glamis our Dragonair, who with his ferocious speed helped us lure out some of those full restores. So there we have it guys, we are officially the League Champion. Congratulations to all of you guys, congratulations to the team, we have done it together, we have become the League Champions and we did it in, in an awesome way, you know, spending time together, helping each other out, getting those tips together and just working as one unit. Thank you, Purple Banditos. Couldn't have done this without you. We have become the League Champions, and it has been quite an amazing journey. But that is not the end of our journey. We may have saved the game, but it is not our time yet to see the credits. Because in the next episode, guys, we are going to continue on in our adventure and make our way to the Kanto region. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any tips, let me know. We are officially the champions and it's time for us to continue our journey and take over another land and become the champions of the Kanto region as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.